Hi friends, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach how to make a uh, static uh, header in a grid view. So here you will see this is a static heading, uh, header. So how to create and all. Now I will teach it. We are already written the codings for ASP.NET code. So we will explain that code only. So just you have to go to design section. I already created the XML files. XML files, so you will see this is document element uh, started here and here and customer star every data as a customer like a row and columns uh, contact name country and city okay uh, so I have written here like that okay okay guys this is the my XML data so I placed placed with this XML in uh, under the app data under the app data here now i am write uh, calling uh, to javascript here uh, jquery 1.4.1.min.s and scorable scorable grid view plugin asp.net ajax min.js okay now uh, once i complete this uh, video tutorial after that i will uh, give the link links to download this uh, this project links to download this project definitely now this is the uh, default sections in default section I have written many things here in form section I, I will declare the script manager so uh, ASP.NET script manager so you will find the script manager here script manager just track the script manager into your uh, like uh, your f web form after that I am giving the update panel here so you can find the update panel here update panel just I am track the update panel and content I will create the content for that uh, content template inside the content template I declared one grid view here grid view one and uh, server type is server and auto generated column is false because why I am giving the auto generated column uh, false because I am creating the custom column here that's why I am giving the auto column is false I have created the three columns here one contact name city uh, and country so this is a data bound items uh, because it will comes from the database here but here if we are using the database is a XML is a database uh, okay right click and view code you will find those uh, in page load section we return the post back why we are using post back so every time it will uh, repress refresh the query it will be executing uh, by the time but you have to put the post back you once you have to refresh the code uh, like uh, once you reload the code it will execute only one time okay now we are declare the data set ds so you need to declare the data set before that you have to declare the system dot data here system dot data here after that you have to declare the data set ds equal to new data set ds dot read xml we are reading the xml server server dot map path why you are using the server dot map path it will automatically get the uh, path of your uh, like uh, once I will show automatically get the uh, this is this path this is before that uh, this uh, before that uh, the links links means URL it will be fetching from the server server path after that we are calling uh, uh, app data and customer dot xml so we calling the customer data it will convert it into uh, ds means uh, data set after that we have to set the data set to grid view data source and binding once you put the binding it automatically match the column name data field name it will automatically come the data from here because we are mention the column name same contact name country and city so it equals it it equals then it automatically comes here why so it will uh, put put the update panel here we are calling the javascripts here so we are calling the javascript just have to track the script 
here and here so once you track the script it will comes here so we are uh, matching the uh, script to my grid view my grid view id is grid view 1 so we have called the grid view id into your javascript then you have to put the uh, grid view one dot client id put ash ash means id and percentage symbol equal to client id dot scorable uh, and scorel it equal to i am putting the 300 here and update panel is true once i hit the run button So we will get those details. So you want to change the height you uh, your wish. I need 200 pixel. Then you have to just refresh. So you will get the 200 pixel here. So you want to increase or decrease your uh, grid view. Grid view. Then you can make it. Okay, guys. This is my basics tutorials. We will explain both uh, in quickly by uh, after that completing this video you will get the links to download this uh, project. I will post the links to download. Bye. See you later.